Note page 162, Entropy. Entropy represents the amount of randomness or chaos in a system. As the chaos increases, the entropy also increases. Entropy represents the natural dispersing flow of matter. Describing phase changes in reference to entropy. Be able to compare and contrast the entropy of your three major phases. I highly suggest that besides writing the names of the phases, draw the particle diagrams. In the left-hand column, we're going to compare the entropy of a solid as it changes to a liquid and then ultimately into a gas. In this direction of phase changes, it requires an endothermic energy transfer, meaning there is an absorption of heat. Overall, from a solid to a gas, there is an increase in the temperature of the substance. So overall, there is an increase in the average kinetic energy, and kinetic, referring to motion, means that overall there's an increase in molecule motion. Every molecule is moving more. During a phase change, there is no change in temperature, no delta T. But instead, there is an increase in the potential energy, the energy that is stored in a system. And as a result of a greater stored energy, the molecules start to move apart. And as the molecules move apart, that causes a decrease in the IMF or IMA strength. The attractions between the molecules decrease. So with an increase in temperature, an increase in movement, and the molecules moving apart, we notice an increase in the entropy, meaning that there is more chaos, or we could say randomness, in the system because the molecules are not in fixed positions. As you know in science, we have to look at the reverse process also. So on the right-hand column, we will compare starting off as a gas, changing into a liquid, and then finally ending as a solid. Phase changes in this direction, gas to liquid, liquid to solid, require an exothermic energy transfer, meaning there is a release of heat. Overall, from the gas phase back to the solid phase, there is a decrease in the temperature, meaning that there is a decrease in the average kinetic energy. And if the kinetic nature decreases, then that means that the molecules move less, a decrease in molecule motion. During any phase change, there is no delta T. But instead, we see a decrease in the potential energy or the stored energy of the system. And as a result, the molecules with less stored energy are able to move closer together. And as they move closer together, they start to develop stronger intermolecular attraction. So we see an increase in the IMA strength. And as a result of less energy, lower temperature, molecules moving closer, stronger IMAs, there is a decrease in the entropy of the system. The system ends up with more order or less randomness because now the molecules are being held in fixed positions. So now let's take a look at three examples of trying to figure out if the entropy of the system from the reactant side to the product side shows an increase in entropy, a decrease in entropy, or possibly no change in entropy. Always start off in trying to figure out if a change in entropy has occurred is first compare the phases of the reactants to the phases of the products. So we can see in example one, we start off with a reactant in the solid phase and we end with at least one product as a gas. Thinking about entropy, a solid substance has, less has the least amount of entropy compared to a gaseous substance with the most. So in this particular system, we went from a solid to a gas. So overall, the system has an increase in the entropy. Second example, 
always start off. Compare reactant phases to product phases. And if you notice in this particular um, example, every substance, reactant, and product are all gases. So this is an example when all substances happen to be in the same phase. If all, the, if all the substances are in the same phase, then we need to compare the total number of moles. Comparing moles is simple. Compare the total sum of the reactant coefficients to the sum of the product coefficients. In this example, we have three moles of reactants, two hydrogens plus one oxygen, comparing it to two moles of products. So the basic rule here is the side with more moles has more entropy. More moles, more entropy. So we are going from three moles to two moles. We see from reactant to product a decrease in the number of moles, therefore a decrease in the entropy of the system. Last example, number three, always start off in the same, in the same place. Compare reactant phases to product phases and right away you should notice that all substances are in the same phase. Move on to the second step. Compare the total number of moles. So here we go. There are, there's a total of two moles on the reactant side and a total of two moles on the product side. So this time we see that we have a same total number of moles. When this occurs, okay, no change in entropy. So in any case where the substances are in the same phase and have the same total of number of moles, we can say no change.